in c sharp programming language we store the data in different data types but there are some situations where we need to convert that data from one type to another let's take a very basic example here let's assume that i want to create a very basic program to get two numbers from the user and just simply add them let's say here i'm writing this where a is equals to i can use this console dot read line method so this read line method will read the data from the console screen and it will assign that data to this a then i can also have one more line over here to read the second one and here let's say i'm using this b now here on this console dot write line i want to display sum of two numbers is equals to what i can do is i can basically use that string interpolation and i can use a dollar symbol at this place and over here let's use this a plus b let's save all the changes this is a very basic program let's run this application so we go to the console screen and here we have to enter a number let's say i'm typing one hit the enter button again i have to enter one more number let's say it is 34 just hit the enter button on the output screen you will notice we are having something very strange the output is 1 3 4 here i'm passing only two numbers which is 1 and 34 so ideally the output must be 35 but here we are getting this 1 3 4 let's see the reason behind this when we use this read line method let's just right click on this one and choose this go to definition and if you will focus on the definition of this method then it is returning the data in form of a string it means whatever we are getting from this read line method we are getting it as an string and if you will hold your mouse on this type a then you can also notice that we are having a string in the entire sense right similarly in the b as well we are having this string data right and if we will use the plus operator on two strings then ultimately we will get simply the combination of both of them it means we will not get the sum we will only get the combination how can i fix this problem let's talk about the situations here we are using this console or read line method and this read line method is reading the data in form of a string as a programmer first i need to find out is there any possibility to read the value directly in form of an integer but in csr programming language we do not have anything like that this console class will read the data only in form of a string what is the second approach the second approach is that we can convert this string value to this a variable is that possible yes that is possible and this is the concept that we will talk about in couple of videos so in this concept first we will talk about the implicit conversion of c sharp types let's remove both of them or simply press ctrl z to remove all these things in this video we will talk about the implicit conversion of data types what is this implicit this implicit conversion works only for similar data type it means we are having some numerical numbers so in numerical we are having different types we are having long we are having bit we are having byte we are having integers similarly if i talk about the fractional numbers then we are having decimal float and double so the conversion that happens inside the similar type and from smaller to larger that is called as implicit conversion let's understand what does that mean so here let's assume that i'm having one box let's assume that we are having these two classes one is larger one second is the smaller one and in the smaller one we are having some water now i want to fill this small water in this large one what should i do i can simply put it over here and i am 100 percent sure because this is a smaller one so this data whatever i have over here this will be filled over here right and there will not be any kind of loss of this water similarly if i'm having something over here for example i'm having a long and here i'm having this integer right the maximum capacity of this integer is is smaller as compared to this long right so whatever i have inside this integer number if i want to pass it to this long then i am 100 percent sure that this integer value will never be larger than this long and whatever i have inside this integer if i want to assign it in this long then this will always work even if i am putting this entire water in this big glass then still there is some space that is fine i'm okay with that but there is no spillover similarly here as well if i'm converting something from integer to long the same concept goes over here from int to long if i'm having the maximum value of integer and i'm assigning that maximum value in this long then i know that there will be some space in this long that can hold some more data as well 
and that is something we call as implicit but remember the type of the data must be same it will not work like if you are having some string value and you want to convert some string to this long it will not work that way let's understand this concept with an example so here let's assume that i'm having one variable of integer type this is int a g e right and in this int is i'm having this 10 what will happen if i want to convert this integer value to the long i can do that easily let's say it is my age this is the name of the variable and here i can use this is like this there is no problem there is no error not even at the compile time nor at the runtime why because we are assigning the smaller type to the larger type and the type is same here as well if i want to just display this value this my is and just start to run this application then you can see we will get the proper output and there will not be any kind of problem this is a very simplest concept and this is how the implicit conversion works in c programming language that is all in this video thank you for watching have a great day